In this video, I'm going to take you through an update to DeFi Saver, the one-stop shop management app for DeFi. I'll take you through some of the latest updates before walking you through a beginner's guide to DeFi Saver. And there'll be a timeline in the summary below so that you can jump to specific parts of this tutorial. For more information on DeFi Saver, please check out everybithelps.io. First up, a little bit about DeFi Saver. DeFi Saver is an all-in-one management app for decentralized finance. Launched in 2019, DeFi Saver allows users to easily create, manage and track their DeFi positions with advanced features that are made simple. Supporting the most trusted Ethereum-based protocols, including the likes of Maker, Compound, Aave, Liquity and Reflexer, and many more. And more recently, they've also launched on Layer 2's Arbitrum and Optimism bringing DeFi Saver to Aave v3 with drastically lower transaction fees, making their product a lot more accessible to everyday users. The DeFi Saver app is best known for its leverage management tools. Users can manage leverage positions, increasing or paying back debt in just one transaction. And on layer twos, this is now possible with a minimum debt requirement of only $500. You can also loan shift and use refinancing tools to move your positions to a completely different protocol or change your collateral or debt asset. There's a smart savings dashboard where you can earn interest on your deposited assets. Plus, users can find the best rates across multiple protocols and simply move their position from one protocol to another with a single click. And a simulation tool to test out DeFi protocols and essentially all DeFi features without having to set up an account or spend anything in terms of transaction costs. They even have their own DeFi Saver Gas browser extension so that you can track gas fees and get notified when they're low. So let's jump in and take a look. I'll show you some of the latest updates first for those that are already familiar with DeFi Saver. And for those that are brand new, we're going to go through a full beginner's guide too. So taking a look at the app. Initially, you'll be prompted to connect up your wallet, where you're going to connect up the likes of Metamask, Ledger, Trezor, or any wallet that supports Wallet Connect. One of the most significant and improved features of DeFi Saver is the support for both Arbitrum and Optimism networks, in addition to Ethereum, which are available from the drop-down beside your connected wallet. These are supported for Aave v3. As you can see, the other options are currently greyed out. And you can also exchange, run simulation mode, and bridge your tokens across these networks. DeFi Saver has recently released their flagship automated liquidation protection and leverage management feature on Layer 2 Networks 2, which you can now rely on with up to 20 times lower transaction fees compared to the mainnet. Their minimum debt requirement is now only $500, so that you can use auto boost and auto repay for smaller positions than previously, where the minimum for Maker was around $40,000, meaning you can now rely on liquidation protection and auto leveraging for anything over $500. From the main dashboard, you'll see that you can now filter by all, lending, liquidity protocol or LP and other. Plus your token assets now appear on the right hand side with any active positions. If we look at the smart savings dashboard now for yield farming, they've changed the protocol options from here, adding mstable, yearn and convex. And you can still easily switch between each in search for the best APYs. They've also updated the exchange with a redesigned UI. There's support for any token, and you can copy the token address and quickly swap and send. The loan shifter now supports all the integrated lending protocols. And there's been protocols added for support in their recipe creator. There's more recipes, a search function, and you can easily zap in each recipe with a better overview of steps and actions. Finally, they've rolled out automated strategies a modular DeFi automation system enabling stop loss and take profit strategies for Maker and Liquity, which is the first on-chain liquidation protection strategy for Liquity. So there are a lot of new features to enhance your experience, to help general users with small positions and generally an upgraded service with advanced functionality. Now, for those of you that are brand new to DeFi Saver, how do you get started and what can you do? Well, let me take you through a beginner's guide now. As I said, there's a host of different wallets that you can connect to DeFi Saver. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be connecting into simulation mode, just so that I can show you the full suite of features. 
Simulation mode essentially allows you to use DeFi Saver and test DeFi protocols without spending anything in terms of gas fees. The account will give you 100 ETH and it appears like it's running on either the Ethereum, Arbitrum or Optimism network. The first screen is your portfolio, but just taking a look around the top right first, here is where you can see what wallet is connected. For me, that's simulation mode, and it shows a balance of 100 ETH. However, if you were connected to Metamask, for example, this would obviously show here as well as any active balance. It then shows the network that you're running on, and now not only supports Ethereum, but also Optimism and Arbitrum too. There's a TX icon for your recent transactions, and then a link to the current gas fees of the network that you've chosen. And as I said, they also have a browser extension available where you can track and get notified of gas fee changes. You then see your portfolio, where you can view your network, token value, how much you've supplied, and those that are claimable or borrowed. And your balance for each token is then shown on the right-hand side of the screen. Underneath, you then have any positions by protocol. Then on the navigation bar on the far left, this is where we have all the available features. We're going to start with the Make a DAO icon, which allows you to create CDPs or collateralized debt positions. These vaults mean that you can borrow or generate DAI by depositing one of the supported collateral types. And this is using Make a DAO vaults. So let's go ahead and create a CBD. As you can see, automatically, ETHA is selected for you, but you can change your collateral type from the drop down list here. Currently, the likes of ETH, Wrap Bitcoin, USDC, PAX USD, LINK, BAT, MANA, COMP, and USDT are supported in MakerDAO. And the difference between the letters at the end is the liquidation ratio, which for ETH goes from 145% for A to 130% with B, or 170% for ETH C. However, the minimum borrower amounts will differ, plus you may also be paying higher stability fees. I'm going to select ETH C for the moment. And the amount of collateral that I'd like to use for this will be 10 ETH, as the minimum amount for ETH C is currently set to 5,000. When I do, the amount of debt will then display below, that you can essentially borrow, and you can reduce this down. However, just be aware that with Maker, this must be over $5,000. Then over on the right, it'll give you a summary, showing your collateral, your exposure, which is 1x, the amount of die that you're going to receive, and the ratio is currently showing in green. Because cryptocurrency is so volatile, for every dollar that you'll borrow, you'll always need to have at least 170% locked in as collateral. And if the price of ETH falls, and you then have less than 170%, the system will start to sell off your ETH to pay off the debt, and this can obviously be risky. Therefore, if there's a bigger buffer between you and the 170%, it's deemed as safe. They recommend 220%, as you can see from here. And it gets riskier, the lower the ratio falls. It's also showing the current maker ETH price. And then if the price were to fall to the liquidation price, you could get liquidated. There's a stability fee, which is the fee for the service, and these fees do change. Plus it'll show the amount of DAI that's currently available to borrow. When you are creating your CDP, you also have the option of creating a standard CDP or instantly leveraging one. When creating a standard CDP, all generated DAI is sent to your account, and you can use the DAI for whatever you like. However, with leveraged, all generated DAI is instantly used to obtain more ETH, or whatever collateral you've used, for your position using one of the integrated decentralized exchanges. Therefore, you don't receive any DAI into your wallet account. And there's a 0.25% service fee for creating an instantly leveraged CDP or vault. I'm going to go ahead and create my CDP now. And you'll be prompted to create something called a smart wallet, which is essentially your DeFi saver account. It's a smart contract wallet that's got no limitations in terms of how complex transactions that you can run on it. It's used so you can use advanced features that we're going to take a look at shortly, such as boost, repay, automation, and any other complex multi-step action on your DeFi positions. If you've already created a smart wallet to manage your compound or your Aave positions, you'll already have one associated with your account. And DeFi Saver will use the same one. If not, you're going to be prompted to create a new one. You'll also need to pay a gas fee for its creation. Plus, you're going to need to accept the fees to create your CDP too. Once that's completed, they then suggest enabling liquidation protection for your position using their CDP automation system, which you can do now or in the future. 
we're going to take a look at at the moment. So now on the Make a DAO tab, we can see an overview of our CDP under the Manage tab. And there's a set of tabs underneath. First, you've got Boost, and that's used for longing the likes of ETH or other supported assets. Users might use Boost when the market dips to benefit from a potential recovery, or when they believe the market will continue moving up, as essentially Boost generates more DAI, swaps those DAI for the used collateral, and instantly adds those new funds to your MakerDAO vault, increasing your leverage and exposure to that asset. Then there's Repay, which can be very useful in case of market drops, when you need to make an urgent action to protect your vault from liquidation. Repay takes out lock collateral, it swaps it for DAI, and uses the DAI to instantly pay off part of your debt, decreasing your debt and increasing your collateralization ratio. You then have the options to supply more ETH, withdraw your ETH, or borrow or generate more DAI, or to pay it back. At the top of our Maker screen, let's choose Automate. And it states against some of these that they are still in beta at this time, so do use these at your own risk. Automation is used for automatic liquidation protection or automated leverage management of the collateralized debt positions. And it will essentially monitor your positions and automatically makes adjustments once the configured conditions are met. And there are several options that you can choose. Automated leverage management with auto repay and auto boost. Savings liquidation protection with debt payback. Stop loss to close positions with minimum target prices and take profit with maximum target prices. Now, the two requirements for running automation are that the user's position is on a smart wallet and that a minimum debt requirement is met. The minimum required debt for enabling automation is $40,000 for MakerDAO or Liquity. Automation is also available for Aave on Optimism and Arbitrum, where the minimum debt amount is just $500, allowing for automation even just for small positions. Or $60,000 total debt balance for Compound, or when you're using Aave on the Ethereum mainnet. Let's take a look at the Smart Savings next. Smart Savings is a lending dashboard where you can earn interest on your deposited assets. Now you can see that the best rate at the moment is with Convex ST ETH protocol. And here you can deposit ETH, ST ETH or Curve ST ETH pool LP tokens. When you deposit into the Convex ST ETH pool, you'll receive Curve LP tokens which is deposited into Convex for Convex LP tokens, and you will earn interest from Curve trading fees. Convex ST ETH pool LP tokens are then staked for an additional 83% of all the Convex CRV rewards and CVX rewards. And they state here that there is no history of security incidents. There are higher gas costs compared to some of the other options, with additional manual claiming of rewards needed but you'll currently get roughly a 9.4% APY with this protocol. And each protocol will have a description underneath, so you can take a look at those and it'll provide you with some further information. Now, if you don't currently hold the tokens, but you want to benefit from some of the better rates, DeFi Saver does have an exchange feature that's built into the platform, so that you can easily swap from one cryptocurrency to another. Let's just head back to our smart savings. And I'm going to choose to supply one ETH with Convex. So I'll hit supply and accept the transaction. Now at the top of the screen, it will show my total, which is my balance and interest earned across all the protocols, as well as the estimated interest that I'm gonna earn in a week, month and a year. Then I can view the amount supplied or that's claimable. I then have the option to supply more, withdraw or claim my tokens. With certain positions, you can also move from one protocol to another, so that if you see more favourable rates from the dashboard, you can simply move your position in a single click. For example, if you've supplied DAI to the Convex MUSD and you find better rates over on Yearn, you can simply move the transaction to that protocol. Just again, bear in mind transaction fees that are going to be applied and if it'll still work out to be favourable. Now we're going to take a look at Loan Shifter. Here you can shift your position between protocols or change your collateral and debt assets. So you can shift your positions between different protocols or maker vaults like from ETH C to ETH A, as long as you abide by the minimum debt amounts. You can change your collateral asset to an asset with a lower stability fee or a higher supply APY. Or you can change your debt asset to a different one, for example one with a lower borrow APY. 
I'll just choose protocol to show you the different options here. So I've got an EC loan with Maker at the moment, and that's my from position. But I can create a new position with ETH A on the same protocol, or I can choose to move this to Liquity, for example. And it'll show you the complete breakdown here of the position that you're going to be moving from and to. When considering a move, again, you're going to need to factor in the price of the gas fees as to whether or not you're going to be getting the better rates. Now, I'm not going to be getting better rates here, but I'm going to transfer this so that you can watch the process. And if I now look under liquidity, you'll see that my position is now showing. Next, let's take a look at the recipe creator. Recipe creator allows users to create complex transactions, which include multiple actions. And the idea of this is that it makes the likes of Flash Loans and DeFi Legos available to all, even for those with less technical backgrounds. There are some pre-made recipes here, such as to supply dye from Maker to Compound to earn both the lending interest and comp tokens, swapping multiple assets in a single transaction, or repaying Maker debt using Compound or moving from Compound to Aave. And you can also create your own. Then finally, you've got the bridge which isn't available in simulation mode. So I'm just going to swap across to my MetaMask wallet now just to show you the different options. And in here, you can bridge your tokens from other networks. For example, you can bridge a token from Ethereum to Arbitrum or Optimism and vice versa. Plus, you can also edit the price slippage from here too. But that completes how you can use DeFi Saver. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like hit the subscribe button and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.